Hi, my Max. Uh, I hope you had a good weekend. Uh, please let me know how you played. Um, and obviously, thanks for the videos, right? Um, okay, Max, these videos are just exceptional. All right, absolutely brilliant. All right, um, we definitely have less technical work to do now and more execution work and more putting work. Okay, we're still going to do our technical stuff because we are so close. We're going to keep pushing that. Okay, but we're going to start phasing in some target practice. Um, and some putting, please, to get those scores down, right? Okay, so kickback is just brilliant. Okay, so you can see when you swing, it's not a kickback. It's just normal. And you can see when you're doing the kickback drill, and I just play the video through, it just looks like a normal good swing. Okay, so we're definitely keeping that drill. Okay, wedges are close as well. Generally pretty good. Okay, um, obviously the arms... A little bit longer and a little bit more active than what we would like, okay. But they're very, very good, so let's just stick with them, All right? The nine o'clocks with the 52 were better than the nine o'clocks with the 56. Uh, All right, 10 o'clocks not bad, but obviously they all kind of hop us 10, 11. So we just got to get a little bit better with that, but we're okay with that for now, okay? So we're going to do a little bit of a progression with those wedges. I really like it, okay? So we're still doing nine to three, leaving the arms uh, behind. Okay, so nine o'clock, leave the arms behind. All right. Ten o'clock, leave the arms behind. Okay, we're still doing those. All right, then the second round of the of the warm up of the wedges. Okay, we're gonna do nine o'clock. Right, but this time we're gonna leave the shoulders behind. Okay, so we're gonna do nine o'clock. And basically, we're going to try and not rotate our shoulders. So keep your back to the target. Okay? Just pull the hips. All right. Now, it is feasible that your arms will pull down and you're going to hit them a little bit chunky or a little bit inside. But I just want to see. Okay. So 9 o'clock, leave shoulders behind. Now, if you could leave shoulders and arms behind, that would be great. But just leave your shoulders behind. Do not let your shoulders open up. Okay. Obviously, try to let the hip open up. But 9 o'clock... Keep your back to the target as long as possible. Okay. So even that one there, you can see I've overdone that one. Okay. And I've kind of dropped that club a little bit on the inside. All right. If you do that but swing your arms, you're going to chunk it. Okay. So I just want to see if we can really dial in that perfect sequencing, especially through the wedges. Okay. And then obviously same 10 o'clock, 10 o'clock, leave your shoulders behind, leave your back to the target. Using the hip, 10 o'clock, back to the top. Okay, there's the one where I've overdone it, dropped it on the inside. Okay, I just want to see it. Don't do too many of them. Arms behind is more important. Okay, but they're so good, okay, when you're leaving the arms behind. But the hip's still underworking a little bit. So now, obviously, we've worked on clearing the hip, and we might need to do it that way. But I just want to see that if we leave the shoulders behind, does that give time for the hip to open up? Or are the arms still too active and we have to can that drill? Okay, I just want to have a look. All right? Okay, so that's the warm-up. Obviously, the arms behind one is the more important. It's working nicely. Right. Then, uh, short iron. So, 9-9. Nine, nine. If you do 9-9 nine, nine or 8-9, that's fine. 9-9 nine, nine you like to do. Uh, if you do 9-9, nine, nine, okay, um, you just have to do kickback drill. Okay? And then a little bit of sequencing. So, a little bit of stop and clear. Okay. Don't worry about right foot forward drill. Don't worry about too close drill. Don't worry about any of those. You're look, looking all great. Okay. So all you got to do is a little bit of kickback drill. All right. And then a little bit of stop the arms and clear. Okay. When we go to six iron, so six iron three with driver. Okay. We're doing right foot forward. Okay. That's in the setup. And then we're doing kickback. So we're incorporating those two. Okay? So the longer clubs are right foot forward, but you're doing kickback drill. Okay? And do quite a lot of them together. All right. That's kind of the only drill you need to do with the long clubs. Okay? Leave everything else alone. All right. Okay. Obviously, send me those videos and let's see how it goes. Alrighty? Okay. Then, putting. So we can focus our energy more on putting this week. All right. Putting, can we please start with, start with advanced compass? Okay. I want two to seven foot. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. 
Okay, so six rounds. All right. Give me the numbers. Obviously, how many you hold. Okay, so that's your first practice session. I imagine it'll be tomorrow. Okay. And then your second, if you do get time during the week, go. But in your second practice session, okay, I want you to do three putt avoidance. Okay, so basically you go off to the putting green with yourself, your putter, and one golf ball. Okay. Start. Let's start at 10 foot. Okay. Now you just work around the putting green and all different ones. All right. And basically your job is, okay, to not three putt. Now obviously you're trying to hold putts, especially at 10 to 15 foot. But once you get out there, outside of that range, yes, you're trying to hold them, but basically trying not to three putt. Okay. And you just work your way around. Basically, start at 10 foot. Okay. Uh, let's work up in two foot increments because I normally work up in one meter increments. Let's work up, uh, no, we're going three foot, that's fine. We're going three foot increments um, to try and get the longer putts, right? Because obviously you also have a lot of those at Trump, right? Anyway, so start at 10 foot, go through your routine, try and hold it. If you don't hold it, obviously make the, the second putt, the short putt, hopefully. If it's a tester, it's a tester. That's what advanced compass is for. So if you manage to not three putt, okay, then you go up one step. So the next hole, you're 13 foot, okay? Same thing, full read, routine, different hole. Off you go. If you manage to hold it or two putt, then you go to 16 foot, 19, 22, 25, 28. So if you three putt, you fail, you go all the way back to 10 foot, you start again. Okay, one ball. Right, and then let's see how far you can get. Okay, so it's a little bit more execution based and then a little bit of pressure on that short putt because you're going to have some testers. Okay, can you make it to keep the game going? All right, which obviously translates to the golf course when you have that lag putt or that chip in that sort of three to five foot range. You've got to make that putt to keep the momentum going, to keep the scores going. Okay, so advanced compass first, to get everything correct in your reads and your lines, everything like that. Get the stroke warmed up, okay, and then put that into play with the longer putts in the three putt avoidance game. All right, okay, that's your work for the week, my mate. Let me know if you need anything. Thank you as always. Okay, I'm very flipping happy with where we're at. Okay. Doing this kickback just looked awesome. I was so impressed. Okay, thank you, my mate. Talk to you later.